welcome back to our off-grid cabin build series here in North Idaho. Check out the sky, blue and cold. Back into some cold weather again. But how many days of good weather do we have? I think three, <laughs> maybe four. We're hoping for four. Four days of good weather. This is our roofing material right here. It doesn't look like much, but that's enough roofing, roofing to do the whole cabin. So we're gonna bust it open, see what we got. We gotta go get some supplies and then we're gonna start putting the roof on today and hopefully we can get it done in four days. What do you think? Yeah, because after that, there's a long period of snow. Yeah, like a whole week's worth of snow in the forecast. Yeah, so we need to get this done. First of all, we've got thousands, it looks like, of screws here. We've got long screws that'll go above the um, eave area. And then we've got shorter screws for down low on the roof where the where you can see the exposed eave there. That way they don't come out too far through the roof decking. Anyway, so. Whole box me, of them. Yeah, a box of giant big box of screws. And they're heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Several pounds of screws here. Huh? This guy. It's frosty. That's our ridge cap. Yeah. This should be the ridge cap. Wow. It's not light either. <laughs> white on the underside but that's not the color we chose right it's black <laughs> we're not going to unwrap it all because this is like the last part we put on but there's uh there's five of them here and our roof is they're 10 feet long so our roof's 44 feet this will cover it with some extra for overlapping them wow man this thing is heavy too wow <laughs> This, I think. It's a drip edge? I think it's a drip edge. I think this is actually the first piece we put on. Wow, that's a lot of saran. Yeah. Saran wrap. Oh, there's more than just that on there. Is there? Yeah. I'm not sure what all of it is. Oh, got my glove. <laughs> Sharp knife. What's that? Sharp knife. Yeah, I did sharpen it recently. What do those tags say? I don't know. They're just the part, parts, like labels for where it's going and what the orders are. All right, so we've got, we've got this guy. What do you think? What do you think that one's for? It looks like it's bent at a 90. I bet these go... Dormer? I mean, it's, it's almost a 90, huh? Are all they all the same? They look like they're all the same, huh? No, that's not the same angle. This is like a big puzzle. Yeah. I think, this is what I think. I think these ones, oh, I know what they are. Okay, so... This is for the wall on the dormer. So it comes down the wall and then this extends out over it. So this is for the wall on the dormer. This is for the wall on the front of the dormer because it comes down and then it goes at an angle to cover up that roof there. These, are, This is the drip edge. This one right here that's almost at a 90 is the drip edge for the dormer. These are the drip edge for the rest of the roof. These are the same. This one this the same yeah, let's set this let's set this one on top of that one let me just make sure yeah yeah that's the same yeah. okay. that makes sense yeah so this will go actually there's how many of those three yeah this will go on the actually 
on the side of the dormer running down the roof like that and so this will screw to the side of the dormer and then this will cover up where the roof comes underneath it mm -hmm. to meet the wall on the dormer what's next next i guess we see how heavy one of these things are because <laughs> uh we've got to carry these up on the roof oh look at that wow Nice. That's long, huh? Yeah. What okay. is this? So we got different sizes intermixed in here. Oh, okay. Um, they do that. They do that so when they transport it, it's more even. But um, these little guys right here, these are heavy in and of themselves. Uh, this is for the little roof underneath the dormer. Oh yeah. So we've got um, we got several right here. We've got mm, one, two, maybe four. That'll hopefully go on today. Wouldn't it be cool if we got that far today? That would be cool. These are the normal panels right here. Normal length. So one panel. How heavy is it? Oh, this isn't the normal one either. This is for a dormer. Storage and installation instructions. What's well, nice, it's right in the middle of it. That's cool. We haven't got to a full length one yet, have we? No. And I think we got it all figured out as in how all the pieces go together. Not exactly how we're going to do it yet, but I have a pretty good idea. And so we're gonna try to be as safe as we can, but you know, it's just the two of us and this is a job that has to get done. So as Mike Rowe says, safety third we got to go to the building supply store and get some supplies that we forgot to get the other day check that out isn't that cool looking just the way that the water froze on the window i just noticed this here check out on top of the car look at that it's so crazy we got all the supplies that we need we'll show you those as we come to them in the process we're going to go up and put the uh, drip edge on and we're using these little roofing nails like this because see how flat that head is on the nail when we when we put the the um, drip edge on then we'll this will go in and it'll be flat so we can't use the regular roofing screws because they have a big tall head on them and then when you put the roofing on top of it right that would like make a big bump or it'll hold the roofing up first drip edge going up Woo this is so monumental right now <laughs> It's the one with the little yellow cap on top. Okay. Smell it and then smell the other one and then you can smell the difference between gasoline and diesel. Okay. Then you'll know in the future. Did you just tell your son to smell gas? Yeah. <laughs> that way you can tell the difference easy. Wow, good Whenever parent. Whenever you smell diesel, you know diesel. Good parenting skills right here. <laughs> Everybody knows. I'm not telling them to hoof it. There we go. All right. Nice. So if you tell me, if you look down at the edge and tell me when we get it. Flush. Flush with the edge there. All right. Wow, that looks really good. Right there. The sun is out for us today. This is a beautiful day. Here we go. Woo! Right. So we'll put, a, we'll put a couple nails in it and then it'll really be held down by the screws when we put the, the roofing on. But these are just to hold it in place so it, it won't fall off. All right, got the drip edge all the way up there. We had to cut this last one, right? Because they come in 10 foot strips. We're only at 44 feet. So we cut this last one here shorter, got it all nailed up there and only peeled off the protective plastic, some of it, because we're gonna have to lean the ladder actually on that drip edge. So just to protect it until we actually get the panel on it, then we'll rip the rest of that plastic off as we go. I think we're ready to try to get our first panel up there, Jules. That's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that drip edge went 
It's real smooth. Yeah, super super smooth and easy. Huh. Yeah. I think it's because it comes pre-bent for your pitch. So when yeah. you order it, you tell them to pitch your roof and then they bend it perfect for your pitch. All right, Marty is getting our harness set up. He's throwing the rope over to the other side right now. Oh, sounds like it made it. Let's go see. Make it? Yep. So we gotta tie off the rope here. We'll tie it to the hitch on the car. And that way it, uh, I don't think we're gonna pull the car over the house. <laughs> Highly doubtful. Highly. Yeah. How much was this rope weighted? I forget which one we got. It was close to 500 pounds. Yeah, it's like 400 some odd pounds. Not quite there yet. So. Not even. Yeah, we should be good. All right, so we got that, and then we got it hooked here to our real safety wand. It's just not long enough to go all the way over the house. It was close though. Close. So we got that tied onto there. That ought to be good. Go get the harness on. We'll be ready to put our first sheet up. We made it all the way over to the dormer. What we're gonna need to do on the dormer is we need to cut a piece, the length of it almost. Let's go over here, I'll look at the, we'll lay it out on there and then we'll start cutting it and I'll show you how it's all gonna work. All right, so these short pieces right here go underneath the dormer. And part of this long panel is gonna go underneath the dormer as well. So we're gonna kind of cut it into an L shape. So we need to, uh, we need to put this on here first and then we'll know how far where where we need to cut it at for one we drew a pencil line on here at the right height for it to squeeze in underneath the dormer Okay, so we've got our pencil line right here. It doesn't need to go all the way across because we're only cutting a part of it out and then cutting up that way. And so we measured on the dormer and this piece needs to be, the whole length going up needs to be 27 inches. We measured from here to here. All right, so that puts us right at this, right at this line right here. Okay, right there. But what's cool is We've got so much leeway with that because let me show you how this works. So this piece right here goes on the side of the dormer, right? So this right here will get screwed onto the side of the dormer and then it will actually overlap this whole piece like that. All right, so then we'll screw, it'll get screwed down here and it'll overlap right at 27 inches right there. So basically, it's going to fit just like that, okay? Now, we could, so we could cut anywhere from here all the way to here, we could cut. But we're going to actually cut right down here so that there is a lip here in case any water gets underneath here. It can't run all the way over to the house. It'll hit this lip and then run down that way underneath this trim. So we'll leave a lip here. That sounds smart? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what tool are you going to use to cut it? Good question. It's a real good question. <laughs> I don't know yet. That's a long piece to cut, huh? Yeah. With those hand hand snippet things. Let's um let's do a little bit of research 
and see. Something tells me that I heard somewhere that you can cut this stuff with a skill saw if you turn the blade backwards. Hmm. But I want to verify that. And if you can, then that would be sweet. Let's try it. They say that you can do it with your circular saw. Best to use a metal cutting blade for it, which we don't have. Um, I think you could do it if you turn the blade around backwards with a regular saw. But we're going to try it with the 10 snips first. And then if it becomes too difficult to cut that long, we'll break out the skill saw and give it a try. We want to go to right about there. Okay? Yeah, well, That good. didn't go too bad, huh? Seems like the saw would just go... I agree. Let's just get it started here and see. Yeah, it's going to be a pain to cut it right on that ridge. Yeah, I mean, you have you can't get your arm in there. Yeah. All right, let's try it. Let's try the skill saw. <laughs> Safety Sally says, make sure you take the battery out before you try changing the blade around. <laughs> That's so smart. Yeah, she's smart sometimes. These Ryobi tools have been so helpful on this whole build, huh? Yeah, I think we built the whole thing almost with them. Mm-hmm. Especially get this guy, man, he's done, wow, so much. <laughs> Safety glasses. Safety nice. glasses are all fogged up now because I just blew on them. <laughs> Don't need that out very long, huh? Mm -mm. Okay, let's give it a try. Try it in a part that doesn't matter here first. Try it over here. Ready? Okay. Your plugs in. Try it. <laughs> Whew, it's getting cold out here. Yeah. Huh? So is this for real now? Yeah, I think this will be for real. All right. Safety goggles on. I'm gonna put some gloves on too. So for real, we're safety and up, guys. I want like, thumbs up this video for safety. <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> Bug ears, guys. this man wow neck cool <laughs> huh that's neat ready yep maybe the final push Was much better than those 10 snips. Oh man. <laughs> well, I guess let's go take it up and make sure it fits. All right. It's the next day. We're still working on the roof here. We just got this little bit here right here done this morning earlier. And I just put the drip edge on the dormer. Now we've got to try to figure out how we're going to get that dormer done. We are up on top of the roof right now, guys. Stove's going, but I want to show you where we got right now. We're on top of the dormer right here. Hey, Jules. We got this one on, this bit here. But see right here, we got this little strip we're gonna need to cut.
All right, here he comes, guys. Ah, last piece for the dormer. Put it right on here. Bam, perfect. So this is basically how you do it. You take these screws, put them in there like that. Hold that up there at the right height. Come right about here in the center. And start drilling. Ah. Like that, there you go. And of course, there'll be a trim piece called the ridge cap that goes all along the top here. Covering that, we'll cut this open right in here. There's a there's space right here. So we'll cut that open before we put the ridge cap on. And then the air, the, vent, the air can come from the eave down there where we have those holes drilled, travel up the roof and come out here. It keeps the roof cool. That way you don't get ice damming down on the eaves. We just beat the weather getting the ridge cap on. Yes, we only have half of the roof done. But guys, we've gotten half of the roof done. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? You could say, oh, it's only half. But yeah, it is half, man. So that's awesome. We did it by ourselves, just Jules and I. And um, it's actually coming out really nice, guys. This half over here is done up to there. That piece right there will be cut actually and go up along the side as well. We do have some, you know, you got the trim and the flashing and all that stuff to put on. But man, this side, this half is basically done. We got to put all the screws in the center here still, but the top and the bottom are screwed in and the seams fit really nice and tight. So I'm not really concerned about that at this particular moment. We'll come back and we'll get that when the weather clears up again and continue on with the roofing. So you want to see what else is going on here on our homestead, guys? There's a video right over here that you probably ought to check out. Otherwise, hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling and I'll see you over in that video in just a second.